What's up YouTube, Slade Trillson here and I'm coming at you for my first ever commentary video. I'm going to be covering Gears of War HD Edition for Xbox One. This is one of my favorite games, well franchises, because I haven't actually gotten much chance to play Gears of War, but Gears of War 2 and 3 and even Judgment were very enjoyable. So this is going to be my first take on regular Gears of War. And I've already noticed through playing a lot of differences from the first one, which I'll get on to get into later. So basically what I'm going to be talking about today is just a whole bunch of stuff about me, you know, let you guys get to know me. The, for the subscribers who watch a lot of my videos, you probably have a good idea who I am and what I'm into. But for the first time viewers, you know, we'll give them a little summary. And I'll, gi I'll give a little something new so that even the people who do watch all my videos learn some new things about me. I think something cool to start with will be about how I actually got my gamer tag and like the inspiration behind it. So my gamer tag is Slade Trillson and it comes from my favorite comic book character of all time besides Batman because he's just like the greatest I don't count him so Deathstroke is actually my favorite comic book character you know and his name is Slade Wilson so I just took his name added Trill to it you know a little ASAP Rocky thing it was cool back in the day even though he don't like it no more so you know didn't stick with him but it stuck with me so Slade Trillson you know that's how I got my gamer tag a little cool thing and a lot of people you know when they watch videos and they watch the way people have their setups so I'll tell you about my setup I'm currently rocking a BenQ monitor and I got a nice little desk I got everything on it I got my Xbox my computer that I connect to my BenQ sometimes you know wireless keyboard and mouse I think that's pretty standard if you want a uh, kind of a lit setup got my Xbox one for game commentary Elgato that's um for game recording I use the Elgato I think um that's probably the best alternative for recording gameplay I don't think there's anything better than that on the market right now for the value and the price so yeah I'm also this is like one of this is a new video for me doing gears but like I told you guys it's one of my favorite games and my YouTube's gonna be expanding like I said in a video a little while ago I'm gonna be giving you new material old material for my for my loyal Yu-Gi-Oh fan base you know if you're watching this wait on it cuz there's gonna be winter's Yu-Gi-Oh season for us so you know it's the all the videos are coming you guys are gonna you guys are gonna like what we have you know be getting some live duels in gonna be getting some new deck profiles in so you know for all my Yu-Gi-Oh fans you know just wait on it and another fan base you know I make a lot of WWE videos so I know if you guys are watching that I, I got some things coming for that too a lot of debates a lot of predictions you know, unboxings, all that good stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! too, I have some unboxings coming. Don't worry. Stay patient with me, you know. Money doesn't grow on trees. I know that was corny, but yeah. <laughs> so, I know this is like a... This is going to be a pretty one-sided, I guess, topic. Because I feel like every gamer should state his views on this topic, which is Xbox One or PS4. And everyone watching, obviously, you know I'm an Xbox guy. I I started off with PlayStation. That was my first console, original PlayStation. Then I moved into PlayStation 2. But you know, Xbox Xbox just came out, and it had like a it was certain something about it that drew me to it more than the PlayStation. But I I like don't get me wrong. I loved PlayStation up until PlayStation 2. That was you know my favorite console. And then Xbox was just different. You know change is good in my opinion so Xbox came out and I got it for Christmas whatever Christmas Xbox one came out I know throwback and you know Halo came out Halo is just like just a great game that just just changed the platform for Xbox because that that one game just put Xbox on the map and started a lot of people off and then like they have a lot of good exclusives like gears you know that just gets people attached to Xbox and Xbox One, you know, that was an easy decision because 360 was just so revolutionary that you just didn't want to change systems. They, in my opinion, they just got everybody hung on 
Xbox 360 and just the way things work. So with Connect on the new Xbox, you know, it, it made everyone's life a lot easier. And the people who don't have Connect, they say they say it's not too bad either. So, you know, if you don't have a Connect, you know, Xbox One is still cool. And I'm not knocking PlayStation 4, you know, PlayStation 4 is cooler. Admittedly, it might have the better hardware, better processing from what I've heard, but you know, Xbox got the better games in my opinion, and it's just more fun. I like the aura that Xbox has. I just, I feel depressed on PlayStation, but when I see people like post pics of their PlayStation dashboard, I, I just get sad. So, you know, I, I don't like PlayStation. So that's my take on that. If you're a PlayStation guy, I don't even know why you're watching Gears videos, so I don't want to see any hate comments because this is a Gears video, so you should expect Xbox love. No love for PlayStation. So yeah, I'll be giving you a... I guess I can get into some tips and pointers of Gears, you know. You are watching the gameplay, so we could indulge into that a little bit. Uh, let's see. Talk about the Nasher. The Nasher has really changed. Maybe it's changed from Gears of War 2 and 3 because the hit detection on this thing is like really bad. Like you could be shooting someone point blank and they just eat that shit. Like like when people are just on the floor bleeding out, you, you shoot them point blank with the Nasher and they're still alive. I don't know what's up with that. And you know, there's the headshots from a mile away like what's that about you know like it's weird so I, I'm I like the Nasher but in this game it's like very weird to get used to I don't know that's like pretty much my only complaint about it the Nasher is weird Lancer let's see I haven't honestly I haven't even used it I actually got <laughs> I chainsawed someone once by and it was an accident so if I could chainsaw someone by accident that just goes to show someone who's trying to chainsaw you pretty easy pretty still the newbiest thing on the planet for gears of war and uh yeah so lancer you know get out of here with all that uh hammer burst i think it's a pickup weapon in this game and the other gears you start off with it but i don't like i don't think it's the tapping is as responsive as the other gears i was like i grew up on gears 2 you know like that's the game that i was really good at and I'm finding a lot of things that were easy to do in Gears of War 2, it's not as easy in Gears of War 1, and I, I never played Gears 1 like that, like I said earlier, so, you know, I don't know, maybe I just am not the same in Gears 1, so that could always be a factor, like in Gears 2, you know, the shotgun was always on point, so that was, see look, I just shot this guy, point blank while he was, while he was downed, and he didn't die, I had to shoot him twice, like, what kind of human being could resist? three shotgun bullets before dying especially from a game as exaggerated as gears so yeah you know gears of war 2 the hit detection was way better look at this guy he's not even paying attention that's why that's why um gears of war is kind of, look at that headshot from like a mile away how funny is that yeah so what i just did is gonna indulge into our next lesson which is never stand still I know if you were watching, you saw me get bodied. I stood still for what, three seconds? And I and I got my head popped. So that, yeah, pretty much don't stand still. I give it two seconds. Anytime you're against the wall, wait two seconds and move because that third second is always when something happens. That last kill I got just now, the guy was not paying attention. So yeah, don't, don't stay still. Let's see, next lesson, uh, smoke grenades. Throw your throw smoke grenades. Those are really good. They're in the game for a reason, and it's a good thing that you start off with them because, say, if someone's far away and you know they're just your typical noob and they just sit there with the lancer, you can you can throw your smoke grenade and run in there with the nasher, so that'll give you like even playing field. And actually, two piecing, I'll give two piecing the the plus in this game. It actually works because when you when you hit somebody, they get stunned for a second. So, you know, if you're in a situation where someone just comes out of nowhere, you know, just just hit them. You can even hit them twice. That works a lot in this game. I know that's kind of newbie advice, but I'm just telling you it works. You know, the truth hurts. So, practice patience. Patience is a big thing in games. It doesn't make you a bad player if you, you know, have patience. Don't consider it camping. Consider it being smart and tactical. 
so look at this guy doing an execution when he knows there's more people around you stupid so yeah be patient you know plot out your moves don't camp just you know like use and ass assess the situation so yeah there's that smoke grenades covered all right next thing we can talk about is how you position yourself a lot like when you hang at the edge of a wall per se like you see this guy he's at the edge of his wall so i can see him so if if you're at the edge of a wall the barrel of your gun is going to stick out that's what ultimately led to this guy dying so you know first of all why are all these people here and look at my teammates not helping me trash you know so i suggest playing with friends so that you guys can communicate communication is key in any team based game so you know get some friends that like the game and you know get lit so yeah back to positioning position yourself so that your opponent can't see you what i'm talking about is when you get against the wall like i did right there the opponent can see you so like your head will pop out if you're at a ledge or your gun is gonna pop out when you're at a corner so like people will be expecting you so like a lot of the times when people are at a corner and they try to come out and kill you but like you die the reason for that is because your opponent knew that you were there so you know you didn't really you think you have the element of surprise in that moment but you really don't the real key to success is waiting at the corner but not being against the corner just you know kind of just hovering because that way the other person can't see you and because of that you'll have the elements so you see how I'm not getting against the wall I'm just standing there like just like that just just stand there and if you do brush up against the wall just do a little wall bounce and keep it moving because your the other person has seen you and my let's see my take on wall bouncing uh I don't know I have I used to do it a lot in gears 2 and 3 but I haven't like see this guy sees me so you know he's he's just got up against the wall too instead of just coming at me and I got bodied there I'll admit it I'm a big person so yeah that was my first game and you know I got an achievement right there you see finished as the MVP not bad for my first game back on gears gears is cool you know so that was it that was my first commentary on gears I hope you guys enjoyed getting a little insight into my channel and getting some tips i hope my tips helped you you know so that's all slade trilson signing out catch you guys next time